Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for the 16th. It's Thursday, uh, August 16th. We're just going to see what comes up for today. This is for all signs, but this reading may not be for you. It may not resonate with your life, okay? It will resonate with some and not all. Five of Cups reversed. There's a new opportunity. There's new prospects. You may be beginning to really accept the truth in a situation. Accept the loss. I mean, I accept it. And, you know, I realize that I, I probably have a better opportunity waiting for me. There is a new opportunity waiting. There's another opportunity. Um, somebody has come to the conclusion that this emotional disappointment that they have hung on to doesn't serve them. I'm, I'm moving forward. I'm having faith. Because, you know, five, I mean, I, you know, when I see that five, it reminds me of the Hierophant, which is faith. Somebody is restoring their own faith in finding a new opportunity using faith yes a new opportunity yeah there's a new there is a new opportunity with the ace of wands there's a new opportunity for passion excitement and adventure mm. that damn six of cups uh, you know, and this may be somebody that you know, it may, it may be somebody that you've known before, but it could certainly lead, whatever this is, there's an opportunity for love here, um, with somebody that reawakens you, okay, it reawake, reawakens your feelings of love, okay, this person, whoever it is, this new opportunity, once you realize that you're open to it and you stop focusing on the hurt and the disappointment, this new opportunity is very peaceful and harmonious and passionate. So, you know, it could lead to whatever this new opportunity is, because this is a new opportunity. Okay, brand new brand new um, too hot to pass up you know this opportunity has a there's a huge spark put it that way a spark for newness okay and I whatever this is I think it's a uh, it has potential to lead to something really fulfilling but we have the Queen of Cups reversed. This is somebody that is, this is an energy of closed off, emotionally withdrawn, emotionally overwhelmed. So somebody may be trying to, even though they're, they're restoring their faith in a new opportunity, they're still trying to protect. I'm still trying to protect myself. Yeah. Somebody has given up on a, a love situation that is no longer compatible. I'm done with it. I'm, I'm done with it. There's no more compatibility here. There's been too many arguments, too many fight, too many fights, too much discontent, no peace. And somebody's life has been kind of off track while living in this spot of emotional discontent and sadness. It's like their life had had totally 
totally been a little or a lot um, unharmonious you know a lot of um, events have been happening one right after another because of the negative thinking based on the disappointment you know and when you think in a in a negative manner it just brings more of that into your life and I think that's what's happened here but I think somebody with the five of cups reversed has started to realize that there is a better opportunity something that is better suited for me out there I realize that now I do I do somebody has been indecisive for quite some time holding on to something that didn't serve them stubbornly holding on I want to make sure that this is focused in. So it appears that somebody had been resisting a change for quite some time. You know, this is resistance. not wanting to put it down not wanting to let it go and this this could be something from the past the memories not wanting to let it go but you know that holding on to those memories has brought about a, a lot of bitterness and resent the queen of swords reversed somebody is angry and upset and bitter that they involved themselves in this game that they even played and now you know with these two queens it feels as though there's been a lot of and these are both both of these queens in reversed can see themselves as a victim at times. They have a victim mentality. They they can be very closed off when they've been hurt. So I feel like somebody has really decided to, you know, bitter. There's a lot of bitterness here. Bitterness and anger over, over being involved with somebody that had put you in the middle of some sort of competition, you know, conflict. It's like somebody was dealing with a player. I mean, I don't have my player card, but that's the message that I'm getting. And it has caused the other person to become very angry, upset, and, and bitter. So anyway, I feel like that now somebody, you know, has focused on that for quite some time. They focused on this loss. They focused on this hurt. But now they come to realize, I mean, the very first card is coming to realize that I have a better opportunity. So I feel like somebody has come to that realization that they do have a better opportunity. You know, there's a new, there's a new partner here, a new exciting opportunity that could lead to happiness if you could find your strength, your courage, and your confidence to stop, stop being involved, stop playing the game, let go of the bitterness, let go of the anger, let go of the, the emotional turmoil that you're putting yourself through. Somebody has really, really allowed their, their thoughts to control the outcome you know what I mean you have to you have to find the the mental strength to control your thoughts and think positive rather than letting the hurt and the negative consume you so I feel as though somebody had been consumed with some hurt for quite some time and it had caused a lot of emotional turmoil okay emotional turmoil and now they have come to the conclusion you know that I I, I want this I want happiness these two are mirroring each other. I'm ready for happiness. I'm ready for love. I'm ready for an exciting new partnership. 
I'm ready. I see the Ace of Cups when I look at this. I'm ready for love. I'm ready for peace and harmony in my life, and I'm ready to get my life back on track. So it feels as though there's a new opportunity that is coming in that is more passionate and exciting and a lot and has room for growth when you stop resisting so for some of you if you're still resisting this isn't coming okay for some of you for those of you that are ready to put down what you're holding on to when you're ready to put that down okay when you're ready to put that down the new opportunity is going to arrive okay probably with real quick really fast I feel as though somebody has to seriously find their mental strength to bring happiness to their lives, okay? So if you haven't, the advice is to find it. Find it. And stop stop going back and forth. You know, this is the five of, of uh, wands. It's the five of, of conflict, okay? It's the fi five of power struggles, okay? So... You've been going back and forth, back and forth, and this whole back and forth game has caused a lot of bitterness, okay? It has. So I think that now is the time to get your life on back on track and bring to bring peace and harmony back to your life. You will you have to see that there is a better, more suited, more passionate opportunity waiting for you there is and there is so i think today there's a somebody that is coming to realize the very first card is i come to realize i come to realize that i have a better more bountiful or whatever it is more exciting opportunity this could be with somebody that you have known before okay it's somebody that you have known before or this maybe not because this is this could be somebody brand new that reawakens you your feelings of love you know, that reminds you of what love is supposed to be like. But you have to allow yourself to open yourself up emotionally and let go of the bitterness and the anger, okay? You're going to have to stop, you know, going back and forth because this is going back and forth because this could lead to happiness if you can find the mental strength to let go of the anger and the upset. So... I feel like today is a day of of no longer resisting. You know, it's time to stop resisting. It's time to stop being obsessed with something that is you're not compatible with. So yeah, I feel like today is a day of finding the strength that you have been lacking to to stop concentrating on the emotional hurt there is a new opportunity right here right now there is right now for some sort of exciting new new partnership there is all you have to do is let go of the bitterness and the anger. And just go with it. Just go with it. I think that, that you know, there's an end of, of one contract, which there is with the lover's card. Somebody is ending a situation that is no longer compatible. There is a past life relationship. True love. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. This is with somebody new, okay? It is. It is. You see where I put that right here. There's a new beginning, a new passionate beginning with some, like I said earlier, with some, I said it, like, I don't even know when, maybe 10 minutes ago in this reading, whatever. You have known each other before. 
in the lover's card suggests that it's not who you think it is. That's what the card suggests. It's not who you think it is. It's not. It's not who left you hurting. It's somebody new. Okay? It's some it is. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. If you could let your guard down, it is. It could definitely lead to happily ever after. The family, the whole nine yards. And at the bottom of the deck, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments. And this is what this is. This is the meaning of this reading. As you, re This is the meaning of this reading. As you release and heal the past, you will experience more love in the present in your present moments. There's a there's a new love opportunity here. There is. I know there is. And it could lead to true love. Stop focusing on what left you hurt. So this is what I have. Talk to you later.